continuing to fill questions for US Simili. I have a student from within our Telegram group saying that he's struggling to pass the NBME exams, wants to know if I have any tips slash tricks. Okay, I mean, in, in terms of getting him over the pass mark now, this is a very common slash frequent question. Okay, those of you who want your tips and tricks, okay, holy shit, tell me the tricks. And I can give you a very fucking solid answer as far as a concrete singular step you can take, yes, to get you over the pass mark for step one. And for comp, CBSC, those of you who are prepping for that as well. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So student wants to know how to get over the pass mark, if I have any tangible steps. And I have a very fucking excellent answer here, which is... I want you going through slash assiduously studying my high yield arrows PDF, which I will link down below. Now, look, this isn't about me preaching my own fucking content because I romanticize this idea that everyone should go through my stuff. It's because high yield arrows rules in. It's highly specific for you passing the step one if you know the contents well. And this is because when we talk about my high yield PDFs, cardio, pulmonary, renal, etc., which it's understandable to make topics that you guys want to study, neuro, okay? Well, high yield arrows is an agglomeration of many different subject areas because in my decade of tutoring, I've come to observe and discern what types of topics slash questions close the gap on people not passing to passing, okay? So when I get student after student after student, Okay, year after year, who let's say is sitting at a 170 or a 180. Okay, yes, it's pass fail now, but we talk about internal scoring. And the student's trying to get to a 210 for safety. Well, that gap of points, I don't need you fucking studying lateral pontine syndrome or strange glycolytic enzymes per se. That's a waste of your fucking time. You need to know, okay, how does fucking ADH work? How do how do PTH and vitamin D work? What's your bleeding time PT, PTT in certain situations? What are your arrows, your cardiovascular arrows in uh, shock, different types of shock, okay? So you need to know these fucking basics. I get students DMing me about uh, obscure recondite pharmacokinetics, and then they don't even know what DKA is, okay? Like, they, it's like what, what direction is potassium and DKA? So look, this isn't uh, it's not a diatribe in the sense that students can't ask about topics they're not familiar with. It's just when we talk about getting you to pass a concrete step you can take, it's closing the gap on a lot of your endocrine, okay, your acid base, your arrow type questions, okay? Not that you're going to get 50 fucking arrow questions on your US simile, but if a vignette, let's say, gives you numerical values, those are still arrows if things are up and down, okay? So that's my consolidated point here. Go through the fucking high yield arrows PDF, and it rules in you passing the step one. You know the deal. Make to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.